You see in this photograph of an Ohio class, the four tubes here. Now they're angled slightly ahead and project out the sides. So you got four on each side of the superstructure. I assume these launch mobile countermeasures. Now we want to replicate those on the model of course and I've done that here. I'll pull back so you get a reference here. The sail goes up here. Your missile tubes start here and go aft. In between the sail and the beginning of the missile tubes are the uh, evasion device uh, launcher tubes. Now the best way to achieve those I found is to drill your holes and then uh, of course can them a little bit so that the tubes you're going to inlay don't project perpendicular to center line but at about a 45 degree angle. To help me visually cue on that I've put uh, lines up here which uh, show the angle that I want to achieve. Now the work starts by roughing up the tube with some sandpaper. What I'll do then is I'll go ahead and uh, I've marked on my work table see those two lines? That's how long I want these tubes to be. So what I'm doing is that I'm pre-scoring the tube by rolling it under a blade. I then take the tube and I set it into the hole. You'll notice that that line is well outside because I, I don't want any of that when I break this tube off to be uh, within the surface of the uh, superstructure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some adhesive here and putting it here. This is an easy way to distribute it. And what I'll use is I'll use this applicator, just a just a piece of stick. Now while I hold this at the correct angle, I'm going to dab on some adhesive, just like so. Capillary action drives it in there. What I'm applying here is some baking soda, and that's that's done it already. So I'm going to reorient this a little bit and apply some more adhesive. There we go. Some more baking soda. That that of course the uh, low pH of the uh, baking soda drives the. Uh, C8 adhesive into a quick cure. That done, I can now apply a little tension to this and break off the tube, like so. I work a little at a time because once you heat up the work, it loosens the glue. So I just take it down a little shot at a time, like so and then finish it off with a file. Until we're down flush. There. A few lecks of sandpaper. And then to clean it out, I'll put a red tail file through that and it'll get the last of the curve. That's all we needed. And then uh, pull it down. There you have it. These are the four evasion device uh, launching tubes on the starboard side. I went ahead and installed these and deferred trimming them until all four were in. And I got it just about flush. 
hit it with some 240. And poke this uh, Poke it the right way. Poke this rat tail through there. Another couple of licks of the sandpaper. There we are.